As the notes inside your obsidian vault continue to grow, it can start to become difficult to find those notes again. Obsidian offers several ways for you to organize your notes so those important things that you want to remember can surface at the right time. The first organization method is one that I think most of us are pretty familiar with, and that's folders. To create a new folder, you just go over to the sidebar here and this little button on the top, New Folder. Click New Folder, and then give your folder a name. While being most familiar to me, folders are probably one of the harder organization methods for me to use. They create a lot of cognitive friction. For instance, if I have another folder called Pop Culture, I've got these notes here. These are productivity and pop culture related. So what folder do I put them in? When I have a folder structure like this, I end up spending way too much time trying to figure out where the notes should go and to end up not creating any notes as a result because there's just, it's, there's too much cognitive friction. I experimented with just having all of my notes at the vault folder level. As my notes grew, however, I started to feel that stress of not being able to find anything and everything's all just in one spot. So I did create a simple folder structure to help organize things a little bit, but it makes it easy for me to know where to put things. So now I create a folder for the year. Let's get rid of this productivity one. I create a folder for the year and then in my settings, I specify that I want my new files to go into that year folder. I also, inside of this folder, create another folder. Do that by right clicking and hitting new folder. I create a folder for the year for the extras. So things like images and PDFs, those attachments that I put onto my notes, they all go into the year underscore extras. And then in my settings, I go in once again to files and links, and I specify that I want my attachments to go into that folder. When a new year begins, so when 2025 comes around, I'll create a 2025 folder and redo these settings. I have to do it manually. However, I only have to do it once a year. Then I can go and I can take all of these, select all of these, and I can put them inside of the 2024 folder. I can collapse that down. A couple other folders that I like to have. I have specific templates, and I'll be going over how templates work in a future video, but I like to have a folder for templates, and then I can put any reusable templates that I create, I can put inside that templates folder. There are also utility files that I sometimes create that are not specific to a year. They are things that I use all the time. So I create a folder for those and I do underscore utilities. The reason I add an underscore is because then it puts those folders at the top of my vault and I can find them more easily. Inside of utilities, I would put things like this markdown cheat sheet, something that I'm using all the time and I don't want to be buried inside of a year folder. So I'll go ahead and drag that into my utilities. The next organization method is another one that's pretty familiar at this point and that's tags. To create a tag for something, I can just go into it I type a hash and it comes up with a list of all the tags that I've already created. I've already created a productivity and utility tag inside this vault. I'm going to create a new one called pop culture. That's a nice thing about tags is that you can add as many of them to a file as you want. So for instance, this fits under those categories of productivity and pop culture. So I can add both of those tags and they'll show up in both of those categories. To see all the tags that you have inside your vault, you just click on this sidebar here and you go to this tags icon. And now I can see all the tags that I've created inside of my vault and how many notes have that tag. So let's go over to this productivity lessons. Let's add a pop culture and let's add the productivity as well. So now I've got two notes that have pop culture, two notes with productivity, one with utility. I can click on this and it will give me a list of all of those notes that have that tag. The next organization method is backlinks. Now I covered backlinks in the first video of this series. So if you want to learn more about backlinks, go ahead and check that video out. The next organization method after backlinks is properties. Now I've created some properties in a couple of these notes. Let's go back to this Star Trek one. Properties are these things up at the top. So this is like metadata that you can add to your notes. 
This is actually where I like to put my tags. I create a tag property and then I put all the tags for the file inside of that. So let me show you how you create properties. So I'm gonna hit enter a couple of times and then you just add three dashes to the top of the file, dash, dash, dash. This will create properties. Just like tags, it'll come up with a list of all the properties that you've used inside your vault. So I can just quickly hit tags. And then because it knows that this is tags, it gives me a list of all the tags that I have used in my vault. So I can add pop culture and productivity up here in the metadata. And then I can delete them from down here. There are different types of properties that you can create. I can hit this add property. And let's say I wanna keep track of when this note was created, what day. So I hit created. And then I can click on this little icon to the left and I can say property type. And I can have it be le text, list, number, checkbox, date. I'm gonna do date, and then I'm gonna click on this calendar icon and I can click today. So now I'm keeping track of when this note was created. If you decide you no longer want a property, you can click on that icon again and you can hit remove, or you can cut, copy, paste it to somewhere else. Something I forgot to talk about with tags, you can actually nest tags underneath each other. So for instance, if I wanted to have multiple categories of productivity, I could say productivity slash digital. Here now we can see on the sidebar that there is a digital tag nested underneath productivity. So if you wanted to have nested tags, you can do that by just putting a slash in the tag. The next organization method is bookmarks. You can access that by going over to the left and clicking on this bookmark icon. See, we don't have any bookmarks yet. Let's change that. I wanna create a bookmark for this markdown cheat sheet, something that I reference a lot. So we're gonna click on it and then I'm gonna go over to my bookmarks menu again, and I'm going to click the bookmark the active tab button. This gives you just a couple of options. If I wanted to name it something other than the file name, I could put that title in here. I'm just gonna keep it marked down cheat sheet. And then you can create bookmark groups, and I'll show that in just a second. So we're gonna hit save. And now I have a bookmark to this file. So let's go to a different file. Let's go back to our another note. And I want to get back to my markdown cheat sheet. I click on my bookmarks, I click it, I'm now there. If I have multiple bookmarks that are kind of of the same category, so let's say I wanted to create a group of utilities that I use on a regular basis. So let's go back and create another bookmark. So let's just take this another note and I'm going to create a bookmark for it. Now that I have two bookmarks, I can hit this folder icon. This will create a new group, and I'm gonna call it Utilities. And then I can just drag these in, just like you would notes. And now I have a group of bookmarks called Utilities. So we've got all these different organization methods, and you can group your notes in different ways. But what if you still can't find what you're looking for? That's where another familiar tool to us comes in, the search. You get to the search by clicking on the magnifying glass at the top. And you see we already conducted a search by clicking on the productivity tag earlier. You can search for anything that you want inside of your vault. So let's say I want to find references to Star Trek. So I searched for that and that gives me these different results. There are different properties to the search panel. You can collapse the results. These are open by default, but if you want those to be collapsed, you can. You can have it show more context and you can have it also explain the search terms. So this is showing anything that matches the word star and anything that were, matches the word trek. And let's, if I put quotes around this, then it will find the exact text star trek instead of just the word star or trek. Let's say I do this search often. I'm often looking for the words Star Trek. What's nice is that I can go down here and click on these little three dots under the two results. I can create a bookmark to this search. And now this will be saved as a bookmark. Hit save I can go over to bookmark and that search is now saved. So if you're finding you're searching for something a lot, save it as a bookmark, and then you can find all those files at a later time. So no matter how you organize your vault, there's always the search tool to be able to help you find what you're looking for. If all these different organization methods are a bit overwhelming to you and you're wondering how to get started organizing your notes, just keep these things in mind. Do you like strict structure and hierarchy? Then use folders. 
Do you like being able to categorize your notes in a bunch of different ways? Use tags. Do you like seeing the connections between ideas? Use backlinks. Do you want to have a sort of table of contents or an index that you can reference? Well, then use bookmarks. And just remember at the end of the day, if you can't find what you're looking for, just use the search. My suggestion is allow the organization of your vault to grow over time. Conduct small experiments with each of these methods and see what works. Eventually, as you experiment and test these things out, the structure of your vault will emerge organically. This is part three of my Obsidian for Beginners series. If you missed any of the other videos in this series, you can click on the playlist on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.